According to the diagram we drew earlier, if we want to evaluate this equation in a manner that depends only on values that are stored in the computer, we should evaluate this equation at integer k's and at half integer i's and at half integer time steps. So if we do this, we have a minus sign in front and then we have hy n plus 0.5 and these are located at i.5 and k plus 0.5. We're performing a derivative, partial derivative in the z direction. So this will be at the same time step, the same i location where we're going to have minus 0.5 for k divided by delta z delta z. And this is equal to epsilon ex time step n plus 1 minus ex at n and this is at i plus 0.5 k and i plus 0.5 k and that's divided by delta t. So now we can solve for the future value future field component, which would be this one, ex at n plus 1. And we end up with what's shown here. We solve for, just rearrange the terms so we solve for the future ex value. So we're done with Ampere's law, and now see if you can use the free space form of Faraday's law to develop an update equation for hy. Here is Faraday's law for free space.